Welcome to the Hey, good evening, everybody. This is Chris with MobilitySite.com, and I'm here to give you the software tour of the Droid from Verizon. This is uh, running Android 2.0, and um, I'm going to be sending this off to one of our reviewers to do the full review. And here's the boot up process once you come from a cold power power off and uh, just takes about 20 seconds or so and you get this and here you are at the start screen here you can't do anything but turn off the ringer by flipping that button that way or you can turn it back on by flipping it that way again sound is back on or you can unlock it bam and here's your home screen uh, not a whole lot to it they didn't put a lot of extras on it in fact uh, you know just like with other Android devices you can add widgets and stuff to the page I can put an analog clock on there and you know there you are um, I, what I've got here I've got the market maps browser phone whatever on here and then a couple of apps that I've downloaded Pandora seismic and super yachts which is pretty bad uh, here I've just got a Facebook widget we can put some more widgets on here if we wanted to corporate calendar Pandora whatever uh, in Pandora downloaded when I made a uh, when I downloaded Pandora the application and here we've got YouTube oops and that just launches the application which is not a bad app at all while I'm here might as well go ahead and just do it well, let's find something to put on here. It's not bad at all. What's happening, you bastards? You know, I like beauty pageants, especially when the chicks are hot like this one. Giggity! Well, I like them until they get their weave snatched off and it's revealed that they have a penis. Oh, no, you didn't. And that viral video is actually anyway. from a beauty pageant called Miss Gay Brazil, where this drag queen... So, yeah, let's get out of there. That was a little inappropriate, but, you know, hey. Uh, so, yeah, with widgets... You hold it down here and you can move it around, put it wherever on the screen, or you can go down here and delete it. So I did such, and here we are. Uh, here we've got the Google search. You can click here and do a uh, search with the keyboard, or you can do this number. Mobility Site Android. this is straight from the Google widget let's see what it did for us it came up with oops I can't do that let's see how you like that that's pretty good results huh Windows Mobile versus Android OS my take which is a post I made very recently November 23rd so anyway you can you can do all sorts of things with the search um, I don't know pizza Tuscaloosa. Let's see what that brings us. There's some pizza places, and that one right there looks like it's the closest one to me, too. No, no, not the closest, but pretty darn close. So, anyway, that is the search widget there. Go back home, and as it shows you in the hardware tour, you've got these soft buttons here, which are they're they're not physical buttons they're part of the software but they're a little less sensitive than the actual screen so anyway alright here you can bring down your notifications on this home page here and I have no notifications scroll that back up there you've got your uh, Wi-Fi indicator your um, bars there which I'm getting very few of them out here and uh, the rural area I'm not really in the rural but I call it that anytime down here you've got this little bar here that pops up and brings your menu here so these are all the applications got alarm clock Amazon mp3 oops did I click on one or close that I think I closed it I need to look at the device all right alarm clock Amazon browser calculator calendar camera which is not bad at all car home which is pretty nice we'll go ahead and show you that this um, is what comes up by default when you put this in the cradle that uh, Verizon's putting out for the droid specifically. And from here, 
you can do a lot of cool things here. You can view the map, which I'm not going to show you all that. Oops. Did not mean to close that out. I meant to hit back. Car navigation or car home. There we go. Uh, navigation voice search. University Mall, Tuscaloosa. I don't know if we're going to actually get a um, a good GPS signal here, so I might not be able to do that. But we can click here and hit Get Directions, and we'll click on Maps to go there with the maps. And this will give us, uh, we're going to go, you've got car, uh, bus, or walking. We're going to go with car, getting driving directions. And there's my driving directions there. I'm going to show it on the map. There we go. Yeah, I want to go to Bloody Swamp Road. <laughs> How's that for uh, interest, huh? So anyway, and you can you know do turn to turn, turn by turn directions and whatever if you want to as well. So uh, navigate brings up Google Map navigation. Auto focus fail. Head north on Sunshine Circle toward Manor Estates Lane, Sunshine Circle. Then turn right at Manor Estates Lane. How's that, huh? We can uh, then find out what we're going to do next. Oops. Oh, look, there's Street View. That is my street. That is uh, pretty cool. So that proves kind of that I'm not exactly in the sticks. There we go. This is just giving a visual of where we're going. So anyway, there's much better video uh, that Google put out showing this. So I was just going to hit the surface on that. So anyway, that's uh, the uh, map view there, or the car view. Uh, what else do we have there? You've got uh, your contacts. You can uh, get directions to your contacts. You can search navigation at home which is back here so what else we got what else we got bring up our menu again uh, we've got car home like I just showed you contacts corporate calendar now this is an application that I believe actually this is not the same yeah uh, it's a company Moxier mail but they didn't include Moxier if I'm pronouncing that correctly mail on this device so uh, we just got the the uh, calendar application there which is unsat because I need my uh, exchange server access so uh, email which you can set up Google mails and whatever pretty decent Facebook application uh, let's see what we got here I don't know if I'm actually logged in okay I am and there is a uh, my timeline here Let me go back and we can look at some photos, mobile uploads. Should only have one photo there, which is a picture of my kid. And there he is. Bonus. So we'll get out of here. And we'll go to take photo, friends, notifications, blah, blah, blah. I got no notifications. Okay, I got lots of notifications. All right, anyway. So that's the Facebook app. Uh, gallery and that shows your pictures you've taken on the device and whatnot uh, you have Gmail maps the market which is pretty nice looking on I don't know if this is a droid specific market or Android 2.0 the way Android 2.0 is gonna look but it's pretty sweet looking as you can see there uh, and then, you know, it rotates just like that. And you got games, apps, whatever. So, anyway, that's the market. Uh, it works real good. I've actually bought a couple things and downloaded a couple things. I got TwitDroid, which I downloaded on the moment, which is pretty nice. So, we got a messaging application here uh, for your text messages and whatnot. And I wish it would let me go back to there. Music, Pandora, which I put on there. Phone, which brings up the phone. And what else, what else, what else? Visual voicemail, uh, Seismic, which I downloaded, Settings, Super Yahtzee, don't download it. 
uh, Google Talk, uh, YouTube, voice search, voice dialer, blah, blah, blah. Pretty basic uh, array of programs that they give us pre-installed. And we've got the Amazon MP3 store loaded on there so you can order your DRM free content. So you got just uh, one panel in the middle and two pan one panel on each side. So a total of three panels here to put junk on. And you know really it's pretty basic. Um, there's a lot of really neat um, applications you can download from the store but they've given us pretty pretty uh, basic offering as far as what comes with Android 2.0. Uh, the Droid in particular runs the software really good really fast. Um, I am very impressed with the speed of the device. I like the keyboard except for how much space is wasted with this big d-pad here. So, but the software is pretty hot. Uh, it's quick. I've noticed no lags with anything. Oh, and this uh, Facebook thing here, you can just flip through your updates like that. But anyway, so yeah, uh, this is Android 2.0 on the Motorola Droid. And it is available on Verizon right now, as you very well might know. It's been uh, invading the U.S. And it's a great phone. Will it replace my iPhone? No, sorry. Uh, if I didn't have an iPhone and I was on Verizon already, would I buy this? Hell yes, I would. This is really a pretty solid device. It feels good in the hand. Software runs great, and you can really enhance it with a lot of uh, applications from the store. And uh, not a heck of a lot more to say about it. But uh, yeah, keep an eye out. Uh, in the next couple weeks, we'll get a um, full review from uh, one of our reviewers on mobility site of the device. And we've got four, three people with the Droid already, uh, one of which will have this one in a couple of days. And yeah, keep, keep eye on us. We're uh, covering Android, Windows Mobile, iPhone, everything on mobility site. We've just imported our iPhone website and our Zoom website into mobility site as well. So we're just going to grow it up and get it general. And hey, you know how it goes. Anyway, thanks for watching. Chris Lightness, mobility site .com. Take care.